Today we are going to learn how to create glow effect on any object you want in Photoshop. So let's get started. First open the image in Photoshop and if you want to follow along with this tutorial, the download link of this image will be mentioned in the description. Take the object selection tool and click on select subject. It will automatically make a selection because the image is high definition and the background is blurred. Now press Ctrl or Command J to make a duplicate copy of the selection. Let's rename this layer as body. Now this time create a selection only on the horns. We want this selection on a separate layer so press Ctrl or Command X and press Ctrl or Command Shift V to paste it on another layer. Double click on layer and rename it as horns. Now we have three layers, one is body, second is horns and third is the background. Let's convert the horns layer to smart object. It will make our work a lot more easier and we will work non-destructively. Let's make the background darker. Select the background layer, add the adjustment layer of color lookup and set the 3 load file to night from day cube. It will add a dark bluish tone on our background. Now it's time to glow the horns. Select the horns layer, press Ctrl or Command J to make a duplicate copy and send the blend mode to linear dodge add. It will create a glowing effect but it's too hard. So to soften it up, go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Click on the horn to get the view and set the radius to 5 pixel. Hit OK. Let's reduce its opacity to 80% and press Ctrl or Command J to make a duplicate copy. Change the blur radius to 50 pixels. Hit OK. I know we are losing too much details in the horns. To avoid that, just move this layer right below the horns layer. Now we only get the glow part from behind and the detail is intact. Then press Ctrl Command J to make another duplicate copy and set its radius to 100 pixels. Then again create a duplicate copy and change the radius value to 500 pixels. You can see we are not losing any details because the detail layer of horns is on the top and the blurred layer are on the bottom. I think there is some room to add more glow to it. Select the top layer and create a duplicate one. Now this time change the radius value to 250 pixels. Hit OK. Reduce its opacity to 50%. Now while holding Shift, select all horns layer and press Ctrl or Command J to create a group. Name it as Horns. The background have too much color and in night it's a little bit desaturated so add adjustment layer of black and white. And change its opacity to 50%. Now it's looking a lot more closer to night scene. Let's choose the color we want to add in the glow effect. Select the horns group and add the adjustment layer of hue saturation. Click on colorize. Increase the saturation. Change the hues to your desired color. Let's increase saturation a little bit more. Now while holding alt or option, click in between hue saturation and the horns group. Now this adjustment layer have its only effect on the group. Now we need to add some depth on the body. Select the body layer and add adjustment layer of curves. Create a point and drag it towards the right. We are just trying to create more depth in the body. But this is affecting everything so click on clip button. Now the curve adjustment layer is clipped with the body layer. Rest of the area will not get affected. Now take the brush tool, set the color black and paint over the top portion of the body because we don't want that much depth over there. Make sure you are painting inside the mask. It's looking pretty much balanced now, but the body is not merging with the background. It's looking out of place. So to fix that, select the body layer, add a layer mask on it. Take the brush tool, increase the size and paint over the bottom part to merge it with the background. You can take your time to do this part. I think we can make the background more darker to create the glow effect more brighter. So select the color lookup layer, press Ctrl or Command J to create a duplicate copy. But this time set the opacity to 30%. To give it a more mystical look, select the top layer in the horns group, press Ctrl or Command J to create a duplicate copy. Open the blending option, click on color overlay, set the color white, hit OK. And change the blend mode to dissolve. Set the opacity 3%. Now we have light particles around the horns. 
create another duplicate copy of it. But this time we will change the value of Gaussian blur. Set the value 100 pixels. Hit OK. Now we have particles at some distance too. To give it a final touch, select the top layer, add the adjustment layer of color lookup, set the 3D loot file to crisp warm look, reduce its opacity to 50%. Now this is the before, this is the after. If you learn something new, hit the subscribe button, also press the bell icon for learning updates. My name is Shubham, thank you so much for watching Graphic Arena.